Well, I'm in water down here where dozens of trick or treaters have started to gather already. They're all in costume and their parents are off to the side. We have some amazing decorations here in water down. Plenty of skeletons here. Some Hamilton residents are already telling me they're expecting to see hundreds of kids out tonight, especially after last year where there really weren't many people out. Some of these decorations have also been told it take weeks of planning in advance. Jim Manning has turned his home into a haunted house every October for the past seven years. My passion is to scare the kids or let the kids to have fun. Okay, and it was my sister that came up to, why don't we try to raise some money for it? Kids and their parents enter the haunted house through this entrance here. They walk through the winding halls filled with homemade decorations. And eventually they end up on the other side of the house here, where the house is raising money for the Pediatric Oncology Group of Ontario. The family raised $718 before Halloween Day. Last year we did 541 and uh, this year we did 718. Next year we have to do, break the $1,000 mark. They wanted to raise money for an organization that helps children and chose oncology after their mom died of cancer last year. Across the city, Nick Bond and his family have raised donations for the Ronald McDonald House for the past seven years. Ever since his son Lachlan spent six weeks in the hospital with a blood clot on his heart as a baby. He actually was born healthy as an ox and at seven weeks old everything went south. They operated on him almost immediately. He was on life support for quite a few days. He says the Ronald McDonald House took care of his family during that difficult time. It's a place to get away and just unwind and relax and it gets you away from the beeping and uh, looking at all the all the bells and whistles that are always going off in the hospital room. Lachlan, who's turning seven in a few months, has been healthy ever since. I'm happy. I was in Ronald McDonald's house. Ronald McDonald's house saved my life and shocked me back to life. Last year, they raised around $1,600, even with a smaller crowd than usual in the midst of the pandemic. This year, they're expecting to see more trick-or-treaters and already have a candy shoot ready to go. This is a wonderful scene. Some of these decorations are handmade and they've been collecting for over 20 years. It must be the most popular house on the street, honestly. It looks kind of empty over there, kind of empty over there. Everyone is crowded right in front of this house. But I'm joined now with the people who put this whole set together. Welcome. Can I ask, just tell me a bit about your decorations. Hi there. So uh, this is my sister, Taylor. Hello. Uh, I'm Corey. So we're the crazy family that's uh, responsible for this nightmare you see on the lawn right here. Um, yeah, every year uh, we've been doing this. We moved to Waterdown in 2000, so it started really small. We would just stuff clothing and, you know, put the rubber masks on it. But as you can see, you know, 21 years later, here we are. And um, it's actually something my father had started uh, when we were just little kids. He got us into Halloween. Uh, we absolutely love it. Um, sadly, he passed in 2014. So uh, this is what we do in his memory every year. Uh, and he actually has his own gravestone uh, at the end of the graveyard just over here as well. So uh, can you tell me how this year compares to last year? Um, last year was actually we weren't sure how it was going to go being the first year with COVID and everything. So uh, what we had done is we set up our candy shoot for the first time and we still got about 450 to 500 kids last year. And uh, yeah, Halloween was more or less canceled and we were surprised, but you know, it was a very, very special night last year. So this year we were like, you know what? We're gonna go all out. And how many kids are you prepared to see this year? Uh, we have enough candy this year for 1,200. Um, definitely 800 to 1,000, but you know, we could very well see, you know, 13, 1,400. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. These are wonderful decorations. Oh, thank you. So yeah, this is here in Waterdown. You have to come check out this house. There are so many trick-or-treaters here to begin with, and this is the only beginning of the night. More and more kids will come by. Again, there's candy for 1,200 kids, so plenty of candy to go around.